Is Was everything it? there in the Ogavi? Yeah, it's, it's actually quite good. We had some nice waves recently, but right now it's too much wind, a bit south wind, off, kind of offshore, but not really. Offshore in the morning and then the rest of the day is like side shore. We're not getting too many nice waves. I might go surf a bit later, but right now, right now it's good. We have more people now since COVID is not that important now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess everybody's over COVID. That Here in Bali, everything is pretty much normal now. No masks, no, nothing no masks, no restrictions, just vaccination to get in and that's it. But um, let's talk about you, my friend. <laughs> How let's old are go. you? Uh, 21. 21. I'll be turning 20, 22 in September. When did you start surfing? Started like almost about 10. I was just nine, so I guess like 12 years ago. Oh, cool. When I came here the first time to the kids' camp, our parents kind of dropped me and my sister off. Yeah, but I surfed like for maybe 10 days and then I went back home to Russia for the next year. But I really wanted to come back as soon as I left. So then <laughs> me and my sister were like, yeah, convincing our parents, please, can we go there again? So let us go the next year for 20 days. Oh, and then I started coming more often holidays. So like uh, surfing really changed your life. Yeah, I guess I, I have that interview somewhere on the internet from some Russian shop. And like, <laughs> I, someone found it recently and they show it to me and I'm writing there something like uh, surfing is the middle of my solar system <laughs> and everything else is like spinning around it. When you surf, when you love surfing, that's what it becomes. You cannot sleep without it anymore. <laughs> When you start, you cannot stop. So now you live there in the Algarve at the surf camp full time. Yeah, pretty much. Like uh, for the last eight years, I've been living here. Maybe it's, I think it's my fourth year working this year. Uh, winter, I sometimes I go somewhere. Sometimes I spend some time here surfing. Summer is coming. It's getting warmer, right? Yeah, it's it's quite warm now. I'm I'm wearing trousers, but. It's, just for the style in <laughs> actually south wind brings a lot of warm weather now and this winter the water didn't get too cold so that was also really good i guess when when you were here it was super warm you were in the middle of the summer yeah it was it was super warm and then like nice and chill in the afternoon i really like the weather actually yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's a good weather here and I, I don't think we're gonna have any more rain like it said we're gonna have four days of rain but now it's just a little bit cloudy and sometimes the sun comes out, but uh, with this weather, it doesn't rain anymore, even if that says on the forecast. And uh, I remember your sister. What was her name again? Uh, Arina. Arina. Yeah. How is Arina. she doing? Is she going back to the, to the surf camp as well? <laughs> Maybe she might come this year, but she was also coming for the kids camp with me. And then when I moved here, she was also going for her holidays when she was living in Russia. But now since COVID started, you couldn't really travel from Russia to anywhere, except some countries that they said it was okay. And she's living in Ireland now. Oh, really? She's going to study. Yeah, she's studying there and she might come for our adults camp now. And um, when was the last time you were in Russia? Uh, I went there for New Year's to right. spend some time with my family in any surf over there not then i was surfing there when i <laughs> went in the beginning of october i went there i was bumped to miss the good waves here in october uh, i went to the east coast where we had the national championship yeah and i, I could take the the national title yeah, i saw that so that was that was really that a nice off. goal achievement for me that was that was super cool congratulations and uh, I guess I was in a good, good energy state at that point to, no, to man, really you, perform. You really rip. I feel like you just have to put a little few more trips on yeah, your passport. A few more and, comps. Exactly. <laughs> and you will get some nice results. Need some more experience. Exactly. Sure. You're still young. Focusing more on improving now and think. I know someday I'll do a, a few more comps. For now, just 
surfing, surfing, surfing. I think teaching helps a lot as well. When I teach the people, I try to explain them everything very much in the detail. Sometimes I have to think myself on how it is actually done body-wise to explain to someone. I think you actually learn a lot as well. I haven't been training maybe for the last two years, but I'm... I feel really that I've been improving just from surfing and thinking about it and trying to explain it to other people and doing some surfing drills on the beach. You know how it is here. <laughs> I remember that you were always very serious as an instructor. You were like very serious with technique and trying to, to get the maximum performance out of your students, you know? I try to give that performance, but also maybe more now also trying to teach a bit of mindset for surfing. Realized that last year that you need to have a good mindset in order to improve. And also sometimes you don't feel improvement and you just need to like have fun and let it go. Don't think so much on improving, but take it wave by wave. And I totally step agree. By step. Enjoy the moment and improvement is going to come on its own. It's crazy when you are in the right mindset, when you're happy and when you relax, it's when you surf the best. It's so interesting. Last year, I learned it from a shaper, you know, Tikatash, STO, surfboards. Uh-huh, yeah, I heard about him. From Santa Cruz. Yeah. Yeah, and he was surfing around here and he told me something like, oh man, you have to like talk to the waves and you have to talk to the ocean. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we were surfing like... We were surfing like such a shit day in Valley Figueres, windy, tiny conditions. And he was ripping. He was getting like all the best waves. And he was like always just like joking around and like saying to the waves, like, come to me, baby, come here, come to daddy. And then all the waves were coming to him. And I was like, such a thing. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't seem real. But when you start like thanking the ocean for the waves and asking it for something gently, in a, I don't know, in a nice way, not just like for your own, but come here, wavy. I can, I'm going to pat you with my surfboard. <laughs> and being present and grateful for the moment. I feel that here in Bali, we have a big problem with plastic pollution, unfortunately. I feel that every time that I collect a plastic bag, in the ocean and I put it in my board short the best wave of the set yeah. comes for me and I get it and I get rewarded for it. That, that's how the world works I don't know why but when you give the good energy to it it uh, how do you say it? it gives it back gives you back repays the restores makes it balanced you cannot only take you have to give yeah we do this thing here actually with the kids i don't know if we did this in the year that you work here the beach clean yeah we did they really hate the idea of it when we talk about it but it, i, I think bet after it in they, the end they feel good they feel good they get a satisfaction from it and i think after also they i don't know maybe connect more with the waves and with the ocean nature especially for those who live in the city it's a nice way to understand how everything works and how you have to take care to be taken care of i think they'll really enjoy the experience after it is done <laughs> so how you how you're excited for this summer and all the guests and everything yeah I'm, i'm definitely looking forward to meet some new fun people and uh make some pranks on them as well yeah <laughs> paint their nails and they're sleeping on the beach classic <laughs> i mean the vibe is completely different right like The vibe changes. It's like a lot of work and a lot of people. Looking forward for some returning clients as well, because we had already a few which came back and it's really fun to see someone, see how they enjoy it. And uh, you already have like a bit more connection with them. Sometimes I don't remember their name, but as soon as I, like I hear it once, it's much easier to remember. <laughs> and it's good to see the improvement, right? Sometimes they surf like in the meanwhile, they improve and it's very, very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I, we had some people returning this year I was quite happy about because last year I told them, okay, you have to do homework, you know, if you cannot surf, you have to do takeoffs at home, try to pedal something like on the beach or buy a little so soft board, go paddling in the river. And few people that come back actually bring some baggage with them, even without surfing, just doing takeoffs at home or doing some exercises that we do here on the beach. And then you can see how they don't forget as much as someone that wouldn't do that or wouldn't surf for a long time and not prepare for a surf trip yes it takes some preparation for the people that don't live next to the ocean and have a surfing regular surfing base yeah like build up the muscle memory and the resistance yeah i have a friend here in bali that i met in yeah. 2014 when i was surf guiding him at a nomad surf camp in panama and he was like very intermediate still And then he came to Bali like a few years ago, like a long time, like pre-pandemic, like long time. 
and then he's here now and then he improved so much and it's so cool to see like actually being yeah. able to was like hey let's go to Luata together you know like before <laughs> like he would not survive yeah and you can see kind of your put into this as well no and you yes. see like people yes. like that return and even he tells me like oh i remember when you tell me this and that really helped me it's so interesting But it's so great like rewarding it's good to hear the feedback sometimes that's for sure Totally. Wow. But uh, yeah, we went to Luat the uh, other day together and it was really fun. You, you kept in touch with him? We kept in touch over the years. But like once a month, when something, ah, I'm going to France, dude, I'm going to go for a surf trip. It's also good to see some people sometimes in the surf camp, they connect and then they stay in touch and then they come back at the same time. They plan a trip together or they go somewhere else together. And then you realize after a few years that they stayed in touch because they were here. Totally connect people right like that summer and those memories oh yeah, yeah. For sure. i'm actually still in touch with some uh, kids from that year that i was there italians some italians uh, like this kid that is portuguese but lives in netherlands i keep in touch with like there's like a russian girl as well but that was in uh, in lisbon but yeah there's like a lot of good friends that i kept in touch uh it's interesting mm -hmm. It's just someone that you have on the other side of the world. Sometimes the world is so small that you can meet with these people on And the anytime way. Anytime there is like a good opportunity to travel, I send them to their Instagrams and they like reply. Like, I can't right now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the life yeah, in Algarve. I really like the Algarve. I wish I could go back when the waves are pumping. Come, come in September or October. You can. Yeah, right. That is the time. Some good ways. Our team is starting to get more full already. I think for now we have a few more new ones for the season. We have one German coach that's been here last year, so he came back this year as well. Nice. So it's nice to have like the surf team it's pretty much the same. Luis, Hanna. Yeah, those those are not going anywhere. <laughs> Me, uh, yeah, and Russo, and Tonya, and yeah, I think that's it. No. How are their kids? They must be so big now. Yeah, they are growing. <laughs> the younger one is almost as tall as the older one. And they play a lot of football now, so they're getting sporty. They do a lot of stuff, actually. They go, like, sailing, football, sometimes surfing. <laughs> What's so funny, this winter, the older one is like, where are you going? I'm, like, I'm going to surf. It's like, now? In the winter? Isn't it cold? <laughs> like, yeah, you know, the waves they call you... There is not only surfing summer, there's also surfing winter. You have to go when there's waves. But yeah, when it's the kids' camp, they really get excited about it because they have like all these teenagers around them, some of them more close to their age than the others. I think they go maybe more independent there. They stay in the house and hang out with the kids. Can I can I check the forecast just to tell you how it's looking like today? Absolutely, please do it. Uh, I'm on Wind Guru, Cara Pateira. Okay. How do they look? Yeah, it's like I thought. It's a lot of south wind, short swell period, but there is actually some size. Nice. 1.6, 1.7. There might be some waves. Yeah, you have two coasts there that you can look for waves, right? Yeah, we have west coast, where our beach is, Valfigueras and Arifano or Carapatera is also on the west. And then we have the south, but usually the south is more for winter and really big swell. Okay, I see. Because the swell always comes from the north, so from above. So our right. coast like blocks it out for the south. Okay. That But sometimes there is an occasional swell on the south where people still can get some waves in Lagos or Portimao. It was amazing catching up. Yeah, nice to hear you as well. Nice to see you. I hope I see you soon here in Bali. Let's make that happen. I can throw in some numbers of accommodations and budgets so you can have like a number in mind for like three months. That would be sweet. Yeah, sure. I'll totally do that. Can I help? Though. Yeah, absolutely. Like you can rent like a room here and then like also making like allowance for like little surf trips, you know. Definitely want to go other islands. Yeah. And I'm and I'm gonna go with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can be nice. Let's plan a. If I go there, then we plan a surf trip somewhere on the island, other island. Yeah, just like island hopping. You know, you get on your bike, and then you get on a. You put the bike on the boat on a ferry, and you jump to the other island, and then you surf there, and you go surfing. Where where where's the wave? The Lancis, Lan Lancis. Hollow trees. It's right and left. Right. That's meant a Did you see Maya Gabera there? Yeah, I actually put 
the, the, the barrel that you made on that raining. Yeah, I, I actually put it on my story. I was actually very impressed. I think it was a nice also showing how it's raining and surfing and she's just getting into that barrel and like, for sure, she didn't feel any rain in there because <laughs> that cap was right over her. <laughs> exactly. I was protecting her from the rain. All right, buddy. Yeah. Getting a bit late here. Oh, yeah, right. You're a few hours ahead. I'm at the, uh, 11, yeah, 11 at night here. Obrigado. Yeah, yeah. Muito obrigado. Obrigado a você. <laughs> Muito bom. Valeu. Valeu, cara. Obrigadão. Valeu. Obrigado, mano. Tentar, seu braço, cara.